what is an autoimmune disease, I'm going to explain that simply in just five minutes. An autoimmune disease is when your immune system starts attacking your own organs, tissues, and cells. Now let me show you what actually happens. First, our immune system has many different kinds of cells and they each have different jobs. Well, certain immune cells called antigen presenting cells, we'll just call them APC cells for now, have a special job. These are the whistleblowers. And what they do is they float around the body all day long looking for the toxin that they were programmed to look for. Now these antigen presenting cells identify a toxin by reading a code of amino acids on the toxin's surface. And it's looking for a specific code. And when it finds that code, it has found and identified a toxin. Now when these APC cells find and identify a toxin, what they do is they take a piece of that toxin and they bind it to their own surface. And they're floating around the body with this piece of this toxin presented on the surface of their cell membrane. That's why they're called antigen presenting cells. And eventually they bump into another cell called a helper T cell. When this happens, the APC cell presents the information about this toxin it bumped into to the helper T cell. It shows them, hey, this is what I bumped into. I found this nasty guy, what do you think about this? So after looking at it, if this T cell confirms that, hey, this is in fact a true toxin. That T cell will activate that antigen presenting cell that showed it the toxin. When that APC cell becomes activated, it will go through a process in which it produces thousands of antibodies. Something like up to 2000 antibodies a second will start pumping out of that APC cell. So now these thousands of antibodies are going all throughout the bloodstream with the specific goal of finding that original toxin that the APC cell had discovered and marking it for destruction. Now that these antibodies have marked these toxins, then other immune cells, such as macrophages or neutrophils, which are like the, the soldiers of the immune system, they come along and they find these marked toxins. And whenever they find them, they literally gobble them up like Pac-Man. Now, this is the normal process. This is the healthy process that the immune system goes through to eliminate toxins. Now here's where autoimmunity comes in. Now remember, those antigen presenting cells, those APC cells, they read a sequence of amino acids on a toxin in order to figure out if it was a toxin or not. Well, certain sequences of amino acids found on some toxins also are similar to sequences that are also found on parts of your body. For instance, there are sequences on the milk protein beta casein that are similar to the beta cells of the pancreas. When the body gets these two confused, it attacks the pancreas resulting in type one diabetes. So there's a link between milk and type one diabetes. Also, sequences on the Epstein-Barr virus share similarities with sequences on the myelin protein, which is like the insulation sheath that goes around the nerves. When the body confuses these two, it results in multiple sclerosis, the attacking of the myelin sheath around the nerves. And lastly, sequences on a virus called Adeno-12 virus share similarities to sequences on wheat, the protein of wheat called agliadin. Now, agliadin also shares similarities of its sequence with proteins on the walls of your small intestine. So this is like a threefold chain reaction, and this results in celiac disease. Sadly, there's a certain percentage of the population that has a genetic predisposition to have their APC cells and their helper T cells not be discerning enough to make a distinction between those sequences on the toxin that look similar to the sequences on your own body. 
a normal functioning immune system would be able to say, hey, that's close, but it's not the same. Therefore, when genetically predisposed people are exposed for a long enough period of time to these toxins that have these similarities in it to different parts of our body, boom, now we have autoimmunity. So there you have it. I just explained autoimmune diseases and what's going on in about five minutes. Now this process I just described is known as molecular mimicry. And molecular mimicry is the main biological process by which the body attacks itself in most of the more well-known autoimmune diseases that are out there today. So what do you do if you have an autoimmune disease? If you have an autoimmune disease, Watch my video, Cure Your Autoimmune Disease in Five Steps. Or maybe you're wondering, how do I know if I even have one? If you are asking that question, you could watch my other video, 10 Scary Signs You Have an Autoimmune Disease. Well, I hope this video has been insightful. May you be blessed in your pursuit of health.